Get off the road! All right. Hi, I'm Mike of Mike's Road Trip here in the desert southwest. And on this episode, I feature my 10 favorite Arizona national parks and monuments. Brought to you by Allianz Travel. Now, many of these national treasures here in Arizona reflect the native cultures and unique cacti. So come along with me and let me show you around. First up is one of the most underrated places in Arizona. Canyon de Chelly, where wind, water, and time have etched a masterpiece. This is a place that stole the heart of famed photographer Ansel Adams. Located in northeastern Arizona, this monument is situated on Navajo land, with free admission to access the rim sites. However, if you want to go down inside the canyon to get a close-up view of the cliff dwellings and other artifacts, you need to have a Navajo guide. Canyon de Chelly is an astonishing area with colorful cliffs, rich soil, flora, and fauna. It's a place that should be on everyone's bucket list when visiting Arizona. The Glen Canyon National Recreational Area is home to some of Arizona's most recognizable sites the world over. From Antelope Canyon, Horseshoe Bend, Lake Powell, the Vermilion Cliffs, Lee's Ferry, to the Glen Canyon Dam. This is an incredibly scenic part of the state with so many activities to choose from, such as kayaking, camping, hiking, to off-roading, and more. The Oregon Pipe National Monument near Ajo in southern Arizona is a place abundant with Oregon Pipe cacti, the only place in the United States where it grows naturally. Unlike many other national monuments, you can continue your drive through the park. The Ajo Mountain Drive is the most popular scenic driving route. And it's worth mentioning that the road is gravel and you may not want to take your RV on this stretch. Saguaro National Park is another place dedicated to a unique cacti that only grows in the Sonoran Desert. The Saguaro also has another distinction. It's the largest cacti in the country and an iconic symbol of the Southwest. No Southern Arizona road trip would be complete without a visit to the Chiricahua Mountains. This is a place where you'll find some fascinating rock formations. These thin spires, called hoodoos, support larger rocks that appear to be balancing on top. One of the best ways to navigate through this odd landscape is to drive the paved Bonita Canyon Scenic Drive, which gradually winds its way through a pine forest to Maasai Point. At this overlook, you have a 360 degree view. Montezuma Castle is one of Arizona's most cherished historical treasures. It's a cliff dwelling that will captivate you with its age-old design that has stood the test of time. Tamakakori is a historical park where three early Spanish colonial mission ruins have been preserved. The oldest and best preserved of the three is the San Jose de Tamakakori, which was built on the site of this Pima Indian village back in the 1750s. Located between Sedona and Jerome lies a small national monument known as Tzuzigut, which is one of several sites south of Flagstaff where the 12th century Sanagua Indian dwellings are preserved. Unlike Montezuma Castle, 20 miles to the southeast, Tzuzigut comprises a cluster of buildings on top of a small sandstone ridge near the Verde River. 
visiting Sunset Crater is an unearthly experience. This is an extinct volcano where a large expanse of lava and ash are peppered by vegetation, showcased against the deep black color of the landscape. Many visitors also stop by the nearby Wapaki National Monument. The scenic loop leads from a high ponderosa pine forest down nearly 2,000 feet in elevation to the red rocks and painted desert vistas of Wapaki. Of course, the granddaddy of all the national parks and monuments in Arizona is the Grand Canyon. Well, that's it from the Grand Canyon State and my top favorite Arizona national parks and monuments. I'd like to thank Allianz Travel for making this video possible. If you'd like information on any of the places listed in this video, check out the links below. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more road trip travel videos. So until next time, we'll see you on the road.